Well, good afternoon and welcome back to another beach clean adventure. It's been a while. I've been uh, busy teaching and grading this semester. So I have been beach cleaning. I just haven't had the time and weather to do a full video. So luckily we're back on finally a much better weather day compared to last time we did a video. I think it was snowing, but the snows are gone. The weather is here in terms of summertime vibe. So got my picker, my paper bag, and I thought it would be cool to look for face masks because we haven't done a face mask beach clean in a while. Of course, we'll pick up other interesting treasures on the way, but I think focusing on face masks, especially now that it's been a couple of years of them, it's kind of interesting because I've been finding all stages of degradation of masks. So curious what different ones we'll find, but already picked up two and we'll see maybe about an hour hike around this beautiful cove, what else we, we come across. So get your pickers, bags, all that good stuff, and let's get trash. Free trash bag, oh yeah. You know, it is beautiful weather today, but I am worried that if a storm comes in and washes me out to sea, I might get lost or stranded somewhere or even drown. But luckily, you uh, do enough beach cleaning and the uh, beach clean gods confer on you what you need, which in this case is a life preserver. So, free life preserver. Well, I hope you can hear me over the sound of the waves, but it's just too beautiful to not chill on this rock right by them. In fact, I'm gonna crack uh, my favorite flavored seltzer that I brought for my hike. Oops. Uh, raspberry lime. While well, I recap just for a couple minutes what exactly I found. So what was interesting about this round of collecting face masks was that there were a lot of these black masks, which aren't like the N95 masks. I was actually surprised that I didn't find any of those. I feel like it's really interesting to think about the fact that I could almost tell you what year it is now based upon the type of face mask that I find. So for example, the kind of just regular blue masks that everybody was using at the very beginning of COVID. Um, well, let me drink my drink. Oh, that's good. Uh, those masks I found everywhere almost immediately as soon as people started wearing masks. And then I feel like I did find more of the N95 type masks, those ones that kind of bulge more. And now I'm finding all of these other ones that are kind of like the original ones that I found, but they're black colored for some reason. So um, that's something that is recent. And so I'll sort of mark it as like, I guess that's the mask style of 2022. I don't know. But there's all sorts of trends to kind of try to calculate. It's interesting the fact that I find masks that are very degraded now because people have been using masks for a couple of years now. But yeah, I mean, if I were teleported back, I would be able to tell you so just by the type of mask that I found. Because again, they would only be those blue face masks. People just weren't really wearing the N95s, uh, at least not in masks. Um, but that kind of throws me for a loop because I don't know where all of these black ones came from. I guess people are just wearing them. I don't know if they're better protection or what. They kind of, again, like I said, look like the other ones, but hey, I found, uh, I think 17 of these and I'm sure I'm gonna find more on the way back. But like I said, my hour hike is up and it is my birthday week. So I have dinner reservations. Uh, gonna treat myself to a nice, nice little fancy dinner after getting trashed. And uh, it's good to be back though. Uh, I, I, again, assume I'm gonna find more masks and that's, Unfortunately, quite a haul, but you know, it's kind of what I expected if I'm being honest. And there's plenty of other trash out here, so I will be back as the spring semester finally wraps up. Thank God, I'll take a drink to that. Because as I said earlier, it has been quite a hectic spring semester for a lot of reasons, but I'm feeling great. 
Uh, I'm getting back out here and, and hopefully doing some more videos. I have been beach cleaning, like I said, just the weather's been too windy. It's hard to record with any degree of listenable <laughs> volume when it's uh, so windy, but, and it's been like that really, like a windy winter and spring. But anyways, yeah, uh, so hopefully some new locations, some new videos, uh, just some advice if you are doing some beach cleaning of your own and you're finding masks. I mean, I would say just be careful now that the weather's getting warmer. I finally see the sand spiders again, which I'm not a fan of, so they're back. There's ticks, there's other sorts of creepy crawlies and critters. So you wanna avoid those usually. Uh, so when you go into these reeds and you see from the videos, I, I've been in a lot of tide line areas where the reeds build up and that's where a lot of bugs are too. And, and again, you, you wanna try to avoid those as much as you can. But that's where I find a lot of these masks because they wash up with the tides from all sorts of places. And keep that in mind, it's not always about people just throwing their masks away. I mean, it, it can be as innocent enough as you take it off on the top of one of these dunes and one of these windy days, it blows it out to the water. Water eventually brings it up in these high tide lines. So it's all connected like that. And I think it does speak to the fact that we need more cleaning done, so. Yeah, lots of uh, masks here of various sorts, which is, uh, yeah, it's very interesting to see how that's changed over time, like I said. So anyways, uh, that's everything for now. So yeah, thanks. Hopefully see you next time and we'll be uh, back with new, uh, new trashy adventures. So until then, stay safe, have a drink, enjoy the weather and hope to see you then.